And as we all know that these uh, flooding dangers are very real, the waters can rise very, very quickly and leave you without a way to escape. Our very own KPRC 2's uh, Bryce Newberry experienced that last night. He got stuck in the River Plantation neighborhood in Conroe. That's where hundreds of homeowners were urged to evacuate. But thankfully, with the help from the Caney Creek Fire and Rescue and the Montgomery County Precinct 2 Constable's Office, Bryce and KPRC 2 photojournalist Doug Burgess were able to get out safely along with several residents. Tonight, Bryce joins us from that very same area. Bryce, we're so glad that you all are safe. We remember last night we were pretty worried about you guys, but we're glad you got out safe. Talk to us about those men and women who got you guys out and the work that they're doing today. Yeah, Keith, really last night at this time, we were not sure what the night had in store. Like so many others here in this neighborhood, you can see the floodwaters have still not receded. In fact, they just get deeper as you move down the street. And here behind me, I'm not sure if you can see, but Doug, we've got this trailer still in the water because those rescue boats are still going. And tonight we have been here with these first responders. They have been relentless going in to pull people from their homes. We've also seen them just going for welfare checks, even Keith, to check on cats. Help yourself and get out. Water rescue, Robert E. Lee. Well, now we gotta go back out. For the last two days and even mid-interview, Lieutenant Anthony Christ and his team from the Caney Creek Fire Department have not stopped. Haven't really seen much dryness. Using a swift water rescue boat, the fire crews have been saving people and pets in the River Plantation neighborhood, seen inundated with water in this drone video since the San Jacinto River swelled. We've been fighting this current all, all, all night, especially going into the night where we can't really see when we're on this boat. We have zero lighting. Returning from a rescue with a couple and their dog Fufu, the first responders running on adrenaline to save lives. They're actually going to be getting a high water rescue vehicle over here to help us as well as some of the other people who really this water just closed in around on tonight. Thursday night in this same neighborhood, quickly rising floodwaters forced photojournalist Doug Burgess and I to abandon our news truck and call for help. Hi over there, hi over there. With all roads out blocked, Lieutenant Christ's team found us in a high water rescue vehicle, helping us and neighbors, their kids and pets to safety. This is so stressful. This is beyond stressful. And we just moved in. Loaded in the back, Erica Gines made it out just in time with her kids and dogs as water filled their home. Once it started coming up to the door about maybe like an hour, The 30 minute ride through waist deep water estimated to have risen a foot throughout the rescue operation with everyone's important belongings in tow ending on higher, drier ground met by more first responders. It's kind of you don't really know what to do until you're in this situation and it's right, like right now I'm just kind of exhausted. We've had upwards of 150 plus rescues. Montgomery County Judge Mark Keough surveyed the devastation Friday calling it unbelievable. Everybody needs to pay attention to what they're doing. And what's remarkable is how fast it happened. Things can change really fast. Chris encourages flood prone homeowners to get out before it's too late. He hasn't slept since 7 a.m. Thursday. Now looking forward to some well earned rest. Sleep is a con, but getting out and helping people, that's just what we do. And back out here live tonight, you can see these three dogs that were actually just rescued, showing you that these rescues are continuing tonight with these fire crews who are out here. We, of course, are so very grateful for Lieutenant Chris and his team uh, helping us last night get to safety. And also, I spoke with the fire chief here earlier on the phone. He mentioned just how dedicated and loyal his team of people are. We can certainly attest to that. Now, going into the weekend, County Judge Mark Keough says that you can expect to see more flooding. His message to everyone in Montgomery County, do not drive around those barriers to protect yourself. We're live in Conroe tonight. I'm Bryce Newberry, KPRC 2 News. Yeah, Bryce, don't put yourself at risk so you don't have to put our first responders in, at risk as well. Thank you, sir, for that.